of people think what keeps us tight, that restricts our range of motion, is short, tight muscles. And muscles certainly have an effect on that. But studies have shown that what stops us from moving to the degree we can is about 41% due to our muscles being tight. 47% comes from our connective tissues, which are the joint capsules, the cartilage, the ligaments. And even within the muscles of that 41%, since the muscle is 30% fascia, mostly it's the fascia within the muscles that keep us short. But that misses a whole other thing that keeps us from moving, and that is adhesions. Sometimes we might have an injury, a damage. Say so you've injured your leg, and now in between the muscle groups, scar tissue might build up, or something that's non-technically known as fuzz. Every day, our body is creating collagen. We have little cells called fibroblasts, and their job is to produce this protein that makes up our ligaments, our fascia, and it's just being laid down all over the body. Now, when we move during the day or in a yoga practice, that fuzz, which could become scar tissue as well, gets broken up. So we need to mobilize the body to break apart that collagen that's being laid down. Now, if we don't move for a day or two, more and more of this collagen gets added on top of the other collagen. And eventually, you start to get fuzzed up. The body starts to adhere to itself. And now you're losing range of motion. You're all tightened up here. And you think it might be because your muscles have become short, but really, it's because the muscles can no longer move. They can't slide along the other surfaces. And so we get fuzzed up. We lose the natural range of motion because our fascia is tight, or we've got adhesions or scar tissue in there. And so we need to move to break those apart. 